XS Gang, what up, though? It's your boy Derek, back at y'all with another video, man. Before we get too far into the video, I know it just started, but go ahead and hit that like button, that com go and comment down below, share the video, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that I post. We real, real close to 200 subscribers. I believe at the time of this recording, we have 197. My goal right now is to get to 250 subscribers. Once we get to 250 subscribers, then the goal is 500. Once we get to 500 subscribers, I'm actually gonna do a subscriber giveaway. We ain't gonna talk about that too much right now. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get right on into the video. Now, I know y'all most y'all mostly used to me doing reaction videos of things that's already on YouTube. We're gonna kind of switch it up on this channel a little bit more and make this more of a guy's channel. You know, things, you know, uh, cars. Um, I'm gonna try to throw basketball in there once this, you know, stuff out here kind of clear up a little bit. Uh, guns, pretty much whatever y'all wanna see, man. So, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're new. And join the family, man. Welcome to the Access family. Today, instead of a reaction video, I got more of a review video for y'all. A little bit different, man. So, we're going to be reviewing my Hellcat today. Not the car. But the Hellcat pistol. It go right there. The Hellcat 9mm pistol. That's what we're going to review today. This is my everyday carry. And we're going to review this. I'm actually a Glock person. I really like Glock. But we, I, I'm gonna tell y'all today why I carry this on a daily instead of like a Glock 26 or maybe like a Glock 30 or anything like that, Glock 17, Glock 19. Uh, well, well, first things first, man, this gun is a lot lighter. This gun is a lot lighter than uh, your normal, you know, Glock 26. It's a little bit thinner per se. It's a little bit thinner per se. Uh, I'm actually gonna give y'all some facts on the gun. Uh, instead of just kind of talking about it. So we're going to compare both guns real quick. And I'm going to give y'all a little comparison. Let me see. Just like length, height, width, all that. Uh, the Glock 26, the newest gen generation. Uh, the Generation 5 is 6.42 inches long. Uh, of course, the Springfield Hellcat Micro Compact is 6 inches long. Uh, so it's a little bit shorter. The barrel is a little bit shorter. Um... It's a 3.43 on the Glock 26. On the Hellcat, it's a three inch barrel. So of course, you know, a little bit shorter. Uh, it's a little bit shorter in height as well, which the uh, Glock 26 is 4.17 inches. Uh, Springfield Hellcat uh, is about four inches. So it kinda, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but it uh, fits in my hand pretty good. And I call this right here. I know, I don't know everything about guns, man, but I, I, I do love guns. Uh, you know, for my own protection and also gun range use. So I call this right here a beaver tail. Comment down below if y'all actually know the real name of this right here. Because I don't know the real name of that. But I do like the grip on this. I love the way it fits in my hands. Um, I love the sights on the pistol as well. And just to let y'all know, uh, the gun is empty. Nothing in the gun. Actually, nothing, nothing in the gun at all. Nothing. It's not loaded not loaded just so y'all know nothing in the gun at all so I believe yes it comes with 13 round clip um, I actually purchased just purchased this gun at a uh, rifle gear rifle gear in uh, Texas here where I live it's got a 13 round clip I wanted to get two of them but they actually didn't have it in stock this is apparently this is a very popular gun and of course guns are very very popular right now with what's going on uh, so I wasn't able to get that, so I'm going to have to order it. Uh, but anyway, man, back to the review here. Uh, the, it's actually a little bit lighter, too. So the weight of the uh, Glock 26 is 21.69 ounces. The uh, weight of the Springfield Hellcat is actually 17.9 ounces. So this gun here is actually a lot lighter, a lot more compact. Glock 26 is a compact pistol as well, but this is a lot more compact. It, ooh, excuse me, y'all. I'm actually going to throw a picture of the Glock 26 right here. I'm going to put a picture, uh, a model picture, actually, of the Springfield Hellcat right there. And, of course, y'all see this beautiful baby right here. You know? You know what I'm saying? And also, also, one other thing that I wanted to tell y'all, this is a striker fire pistol. Most of the North, most, can't even talk. 
most new pistols from what I know. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about pistols, but I know enough, you know, to protect myself and enough about them to uh, be using it every day, of course, you know, if that makes sense. So uh, this is a striker fire pistol. And what a lot of people don't know, a lot of people don't even know what a striker fire pistol is. You know, they, they probably think it's some old crazy stuff. It's, you know, the Call of Duty players. I know a lot of y'all gonna hop in these comments and y'all don't know too much about guns, just like I don't. So uh, a striker fire pistol is actually, I actually kind of forgot what it was, so I am going to give y'all some facts on that, actually. Let me see here, one second. Let me go ahead and look that up. I try not to get on my phone too much when I'm recording, uh, but I do want to give y'all some facts on these guns here. So, uh, striker fire gun, uh, the hammer and mainspring have been eliminated from the frame. Instead, the mainspring has been uh, moved up into the slide. Slide, it's part up here. Mainspring is moved up into the slot. So mainspring is in here inside the gun, which hence holds this back. And also, instead of the, uh, it actually eliminated the hammer. That's what I was trying to say. That's the point that I was trying to remember. It eliminates the hammer off the back of the pistol and it focuses on the trigger itself. The spring in the slot and the trigger itself on the pistol. So, which actually, I kind of like that better anyway. You know, I, I, to me, it's a little bit more control. You know what I mean? A lot of people not gonna probably uh, say that it's a lot more control, but I think it's a lot more control that way. Uh, another thing that I wanted to focus on is that it doesn't have the outside safety here. That's on most of the guns. Of course, a Glock 26 doesn't have a um, external safety. I believe it's all inside or it might be trigger safety as well, just like this gun. Uh, but it doesn't have the safety here, which most guns do. It actually has it right here. I know y'all can kind of see that kind of sticking out right there. So once this is activated, it becomes off of safety. And then also you have a wall in every pistol that it goes all the way down to. You're gonna see my finger stop right there. And then it's kind of like a click sound. Of course y'all can't hear that click sound, but it's a click sound. See, once you get all the way down to here, you're ready to fire. So you got it here, come all the way down. Now you're ready to fire. So of course, like I said, I don't got nothing in here. So don't be acting crazy all in the comments and stuff like that. But I do, I do like the grip pattern on this as well. You know, Glock, I don't know if y'all can pretty much see that. The Glock doesn't have this specific design up in here where you can kind of grip like this. Where it got the, the rugged kind of grip. And then, like I said, this, what I call the beaver tail. I really like the way that this extends in the hand here. So if you got to grab real quick, you know what I mean? So... To me overall, man, this is a really, really good pistol. Uh, also, man, comment down below, man, if y'all want me to, my girlfriend, actually, man, she has a, I wanna say it is a MP Shield 9 millimeter. Now hers is a little bit bigger than mine. The actual uh, clip, I believe hers holds 13 plus one. So her gun is just a little bit bigger than mine in size. I actually like this gun more because it's a lot more concealable than her gun, uh, if that makes sense, which, I'm gonna actually show y'all. So let's just say if you got on some basketball shorts, you can kind of just put it right there. Of course, don't see it at all. Don't see it at all. Now, of course, I wouldn't do it like this. I don't recommend carrying it like this or anywhere down right here. Cause it does have that hairpin trigger. It does have to, of course, be pulled back to a certain length to actually fire, but you don't want any, any mistakes, of course. So I wouldn't carry it like this personally. Personally, I probably would carry an inside holster that doesn't bother with the trigger. Uh, but, but it's very, 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 very micro compact pistol. Uh, but yeah, like I said, man, I'm kind of getting off the topic. Let me know if y'all want me to review her MP Shield 9. Also, let me know if y'all want a gun range video. Um, I might end up going to the gun range tonight, man. So go ahead and give me give me 20 likes on this video, man. I'm going to go ahead and do a gun range video. Uh, but that, that pretty much concludes the video for my gun review on this. Oh, and also, if you was wondering before, before I had this gun, I had a Taurus uh, G2, G G2C. I want to say, uh, let me see here. Actually, I am going to show it to y'all. I had a Taurus G2C 
I don't know if y'all can pretty much there it go. I had a Taurus G2C. It was a lot. It was about the same as in terms of uh, being light. I just like this pistol a lot better. And it also had the, the trigger pin that I was talking about where you gotta pull it back to the wall to actually be able to shoot it. So this one actually has a trigger safety as well, just like uh, my Hellcat down here. Uh, but anyway, man, that pretty much concludes this video. I don't really want this video to be too long. Close the video on the Springfield Hellcat 9mm. I actually want to go ahead and get the P365 as well. So comment down below and let me know if y'all actually uh, like that gun. Uh, but anyway, man, if you made it all the way to this point, man, just know I love you. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell if you new. Join the Access Gang, man. It's your boy Derek, man. I'm up out of here. You yeah. don't hit the road. Cause they come get it from me Wake up in the morning, what I'm thinking? Get the money My niggas got them chickens You can't get a biscuit from me Slide down this block with that 40 I'ma hit me something I got that gray, I got that tail Look for I'm the man All pops